Hey everybody, it is Brandon here, and 1.7 is officially released. So 1.7 includes a bunch of new features. The main feature includes all of these new biomes. Check them out. The new biomes include mesas, savannas, sunflower plains, roof forests, birch forests, flower forests, mega taiga, extreme hills plus, ice plains spikes, and deep ocean biomes. But they did also add some new blocks to the game, including two new wood logs and planks. They are acacia wood and dark oak wood. They also have uh, separate leaf names, as you can see there, acacia leaves and dark oak leaves, but they are the exact same thing as oak leaves, just the normal kind. You can turn the acacia wood into slabs, planks, and stairs. Same with the dark oak, which is just super duper awesome. They also added stained glass, which is something a lot of people have been wanting for a while now, and boy did they do a good job at it. Look at how beautiful this looks. They also added packed ice, which is just a non-see-through version of normal ice, and it can't melt. Else, I mean, it, it has a pretty cool texture, so I'm not too not too uh, upset about it not being see-through. Um, they added red sand, which can be found in Mesa biomes, and Podzo, which can be found in Mega Taiga biomes. They also added a bunch of new flowers. We got they renamed uh, roses to poppies. We got the um, blue orchid, alium, uh, azuri bluet, red tulip, orange tulip, white tulip. Pink Tulip, Oxide Daisy, Sunflower, uh, Lilac, Rose Bush, Peony, and Double Tall Grass and Large Fern. And, of course, they made it uh, where you could build portals a lot bigger now, which is super cool. They also redid the fishing. As you can see, they added Clownfish. Uh, salmon, you, you can cook it to get cooked salmon, you get it raw obviously, and puffer fish which can be used to make water breathing potions. They also added two new uh, possible enchants to the game which could be put on fishing rods. You got luck of the sea, which just increases your chances of getting something good from fishing like an enchanted book, armor, all that good stuff. Um, and lure three which increases your chances of actually getting a hook. They also made it so that when you're enchanting a book, you have a chance of getting more than one enchant on it. So you would have to choose between Silk Touch or Thorns. So if you were to put Thorns on an armor, uh, your armor would have Silk Touch on it. And if you were to put Silk Touch on a pick, it would have Thorns 2 on it. So let's quickly do an example of what I'm talking about, although I'm sure all of you know what I'm talking about. But we'll do it anyways because it's kind of funny to see thorns on a pickaxe so as you can see silk touch thorns i don't know I, I just find that funny i think it's cool because then you have to choose between what enchant and it just makes the whole enchant system a little more i don't know better in my opinion i i like it they also improved maps to where if you put a map inside of an item frame it takes up the whole block so you can make like a map wall they also made it so that it supports more colors, as you can see. It was not like that in the previous versions at all. Um, and there is less lag with them. They also did a lot with the achievement and statistics. Um, they're now both world or server specific. In multiplayer, it's announced to everybody when you get an achievement. And you can also move your mouse over this in the chat to see what it was. Some new achievements and statistic types were added and zoomable achievement screen. They also did a lot of improving to resource packs. If I go to my resource packs you can see that I can put a bunch of resource packs in at once which is super duper awesome. Um, you can re completely redo your sounds with resource packs as well because they rewrote the whole entire sound system. So yeah. Here it is. I have every resource pack that I have in my folder selected. Yep. 
They also did a lot of technical work, like completely rewriting the network, uh, the network multiplayer works. They completely rewrote the sound, uh, the sound system. New graphics options, as you can see if I go to my video settings, it's a little more, um, it's, it's a little more technical. And, um, they added basic shader support testing with the super secret setting. They also added a lot of multiplayer stuff, which includes if you go to the multiplayer screen and go to 1.7 server, you, um, there will be an icon, possibly, um, if you put a 64 by 64 uh, size image entitled server-icon in uh, the server folder, you will get a icon right next to the server. And if you just go right over this, um, if there if there's a player on the server, um, it'll tell you who's on the server before you join, which is super cool. They also improved the chat and commands. Um, there are new commands to spawn mobs or blocks of any type. There's a command block minecart even now. Clickable links to achievements and items, and if you click on somebody's name in the chat, you can message them. And of course, let's not forget about the amplified biomes. So yes, 1.7 is officially out, which is just super awesome. Uh, this this uh, version has just added a bunch of new stuff to the game, a lot of exciting stuff, new biomes, all of that, and it'll be exciting to see what 1.8 holds for us. <coughs> new mobs! <coughs> <coughs> <laughs> Anyways guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like and a comment, especially if you're excited to play 1.7. And if you're not already, if you're new here, you know, be sure to subscribe. You know you want to. You know you really want to, huh? Yeah. Alright everyone, peace out.